The analyzers operate using energy dispersive X-ray fluorescence, EDXRF analysis. Samples are excited by high energy photons produced by the XL3 source. Sample chemistries are quickly, non-destructively determined as the characteristic fluorescent X-rays for each element plus Compton and Raleigh scatter from the sample are measured simultaneously by the X-ray detection system. Let's begin by taking a look at electrons and how they generate energy. Every atom contains a positively charged nucleus and one or more electrons in quantum energy states or orbital shells surrounding the nucleus. For elements heavier than neon that contain three or more orbital shells, the three lowest potential energy orbital shells are the K shell, L shell, and M shell. When a sample is radiated by sufficiently high energy photons, generated either by a miniature X-ray tube or a sealed radioisotope source in the analyzer, electrons from the inner orbital shells of sample atoms are ejected from their orbital shells. The atom instantaneously fills the electron vacancy as one of the electrons from a higher energy orbital shell drops to the lower energy state of the ejected electron, releasing energy in the form of a characteristic fluorescent X-ray. This move of an electron from a higher to a lower energy state creates the phenomenon known as X-ray fluorescence. For example, when the X-ray beam strikes the atom, an electron from the K orbital shell is ejected. An electron from the L orbital shell drops to the K orbital shell. At the same time, this electron releases energy to move to a lower energy state. The fluorescent energy release then travels back through the XL3's Kapton window and into the instrument's high-resolution X-ray detector. Here you see the reading number which identifies the sample reading and the test mode used for the measurement. The reading number for this stainless steel sample is 164 and we test it in the alloy mode. The measurement time for the sample measurement. For this sample we ran it for a full 30 seconds. The battery's strength. We can see the analyzer's battery is at full strength. The alloy grade identification. This sample is a 316 stainless steel and the list of elements in the sample.